The court process when fighting a debt buyer lawsuit sometimes is confusing to debtors. Some of my subscribers are posting questions about the procedural steps that they must take to properly defend yourself. I'm going to lay that all out for you, and that's the topic of this video. Hello again, everyone. I'm attorney Robert Flesses. There are very simple steps that you must follow when defending yourself against the debt buyer lawsuit. But before I get into the steps, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Well, remember the first step is that you're served with court papers by a process server. That's how the case starts. Then look at the papers. The lawsuit will be comprised of usually two important documents. One is the summons and the other is the complaint. The summons will tell you the three steps to respond to the debt buyer's complaint. First, you need to determine how you must respond to their complaint. The court may require you to appear in court for the first hearing date or filing a written answer to the complaint. The deadline to respond will be indicated on the summons. Write that date down in your calendar so you don't forget. If you blow the deadline, the debt buyer will ask the court for a default judgment. In the majority of states, a written response is all that's required. Your response is called the answer. And that's the second task you must complete. To figure out how to answer their complaint, you need to read the complaint several times in order to craft an answer. I have a video in my playlist entitled, How do you read and understand a debt buyer complaint? You should look at that. And here's the third step. Once you have your answer prepared, then you need to send it to the court and a copy to the debt buyer's attorney before the deadline. Usually, you file the answer either in person in the clerk's office or you can put it in the mail addressed to the clerk. If you have a question, call the clerk of the court where the lawsuit was filed. The clerk will be happy to tell you how to file it, but they're not allowed to provide you with legal advice. Ask the clerk how many copies that they need. Usually the clerk only needs one, but you should probably file two copies. The clerk will file stamp the two copies, keep one for the court, and return one copy to you. But you have to make sure that you include a return envelope with the correct postage on it so the clerk can return a file stamp copy back to you. The answer now goes into the official court record. Next, you need to send a copy to the attorney who represents the debt buyer. The debt buyer's attorney name and address will appear on the summons at the end of the complaint. Sometimes it's at the beginning of the complaint. Send a copy of your answer then to the debt buyer's attorney. Well, I hope this video was useful. I'm attorney Robert Flesses. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.